Welcome back, Nephilims, to another not-so-perfect guide. Now, this guide covers the new Barbarian set, Horde of the 90 Savages. This is a brand new build set for Season 20. Now, as always, if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to tickle that bell to get all the latest content from my channel. Now, again, this uh, guys, this is not running with Ancient or Primal gear, but a note I will make now is get Simplicity Strength. Uh, as high as you possibly can, because that helps a ton with this build. Uh, so jumping straight in, uh, what you're going to need is the full 6 piece set of Horde of the 90 Savages. For your Bracers, you want Mortix Brace. The Belt, you want the Undisputed Champion. Amulet, you want Traveler's Pledge, and then accompany that with the Compass Rose, and a Convention of Elements. Now, Weapons, you will need the Oath Keeper. And the other one depends on what variant you're running, but for this guide, I'm going to be running a Cold Stroke Freeze build, so you need to run it with Azure Wrath. Now for your gems, I recommend Bane of the Trapped and Simplicity Strength. And for lower GRs, I'd probably stick to Bane of the Powerful, but swap that out for Bane of the Stricken when you move past, uh, you know, GR 85, 90 and above. In the video behind, I'm actually running a GR70 and only using two of the gems, which is Bane of the Trapped and Simplicity Strength. In the cube, we have Bastions Revered, Depth Diggers, and Band of Might. So, for your skills, you want to go with Frenzy, Sidearm Rune, Furious Charge, Merciless Assault, Battle Rage, you want Bloodshed, War Cry, you want Veterans Warning, Threatening Shout, you want Falter. Wrath of the Berserker, Insanity. And for your passives, you want Boon of Bulkathos, Ruthless, Brawler, and Berserker Rage. So how to run this build? Now, this build is, again, very straightforward. Uh, pretty much like the Whirlwind build. Hit your Battle Rage and Warcry when you first start, and make sure they're up at all times. And when you're getting towards your target group, or, you know, the, the elite pack that you want to take on, throw down your Threatening Shout, and open up your Wrath of Berserker for that extra damage. Now, there's no way that with this build you're going to be able to keep Wrath of Berserker up full time. So try and use it when you feel the need to. So probably at the start of a Rift or when you're getting into a few elite packs. Uh, and then definitely for the Rift Guardian as well. For Furious Charge, you want to hit that and it procs the Band of Might. Gives you 80% damage reduction for 8 seconds. Uh, some other people may use Ground Stomp. But for me, Furious Charge just allows you to move around the map a little bit more freely, and you probably get a quicker rift time doing it. As you can see, this build is very easy to play. It's not as strong as the Whirlwind build, but again, still quite fun to just smash your way through a rift. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that sub button and hit a like on the video. If you want to see a different build guide, let me know and I'll put it together. This has been the not-so-perfect guide for the Horde of the 90 Savages set for Barbarian in Season 20. My name is DB, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.